PDA Parts presents the iPod Touch Take Part Directions. Warning, the following directions will avoid your warranty you're performing this repair at your own risk. This video is copyright AX Microsolutions Inc. Make sure to click the subscribe button and also click the link to our website pdaparts.com on the right side of your screen. For all your parts and accessory needs, please be sure to visit us on the web at pdaparts.com. Use discount code at checkout YouTube for 5% off your first order for a limited time. Using a case opener tool available at pdaparts.com, you're going to need to slide it around the edge releasing the metal back from the front of the case. Follow along the edge with the case opener tool to release the back. Using the case opener tool or another soft object, you will need to remove the battery. The battery is held in with glue, so be careful. There's a piece of tape at the bottom. Remove that tape and underneath it you will find three screws. Please remove the three screws using a small Phillips screwdriver. There's one more screw located near the connector for the battery. Remove that one also using the Phillips screwdriver. Using a small flat blade screwdriver or even the case opener tool, remove the metal shielding from the bottom of the unit. You are now going to release the tab that is holding the ribbon in for the screen. Flip it up and pop the ribbon right out. Using a small Phillips screwdriver at the top board, you will need to remove two small screws with the Phillips screwdriver. There is another small ribbon cable connected to the top board that you need to carefully remove by pulling up and disconnecting it from the connector. You will now be able to remove the board at the top of it. Watch out, there is a metal piece that is being held on with some glue. You will need to sort of pry it up carefully to be able to release it. After you get the board up, be careful, it will not totally remove from the unit. It is still attached by a ribbon and a board at the bottom. Using a Phillips screwdriver, you are going to now remove 16 small Phillips screws. You might want to pause the video and remove those before continuing on. With all 16 screws removed, you will now be able to remove the LCD. Sometimes it gets stuck a little bit in there, but it will pop out. It's not being held in any longer. You now have full access to the LCD and digitizer.